It's a red cedar! Also known as the Virginia Juniper. Uh, you mean like the planet Jupiter? Oh, buddy. I didn't say Jupiter. I said Juniper. Huh. I guess I was way off in outer space there. <laughs> hey, um, uh, quick question. Yes, Rocco? Um, how do we know it's a red cedar? Well, we start as we always do, my good friend, by looking at the leaves and the bark. Did somebody say bark? Oh, hello, bark. We were just talking about the planet Jupiter. I mean, the, I mean the Virginia <laughs> Juniper. Oh, wow. I know all about this tree. You see, bark isn't always an easy thing to recognize on a tree. But with the red cedar, it's super easy. Why, just take a look, Rocco, and tell us what you see. Well, the color of the bark is a reddish brown. Seems kind of thin and stringy. Almost like little strips of paper. It sure does, my normally nocturnal friend. Notice anything else? Well, gee whiz, let me see here. Uh, it looks like it would be kind of easy to peel off. We wouldn't want to do that, though. That might hurt the tree. Wow, I'm impressed, Rocco. You sure nailed it with the red cedar bark. Well, gee whiz, Bork. I would never nail a tree. That would definitely hurt it. You're right. Sorry, guys. I have to leave now. I think I left the doggy door open. <laughs> doggy door. <laughs> Bye-bye, Bork. Sorry you had to. Please! <laughs> so, Rocco, now that we learned about the bark, what can you tell me about the leaves of the red cedar tree? Well, these leaves don't really look like other leaves. They don't even look like pine needles either. They kind of look like miniature trees. What do you think, Greg? Yeah, I see what you mean the way the little fingers branch out wide at the bottom and get shorter as they go up. Also, they look skinny and bumpy. And they feel rough and scaly, not soft like maple or oak leaves. S mm, scaly like a fish? <laughs> not exactly like a fish. But I do know this. I wouldn't want to jump into a pile of these red cedar leaves. I wouldn't want to jump in a pile of fish either. Mm. That would stink. Mm. Um, hey Greg? Yeah, buddy? What's on your mind? Well, why do trees have leaves at all? Great question, Rocco. It's called photosynthesis. Oh, wow. I didn't know trees could take pictures. Well, my friend, picture this. The leaves on a tree are there to collect light from the sun. And they turn that energy from the sun into sugar for the tree to eat. This is called photosynthesis. Oh, that explains everything. Gee whiz, talking about food sure makes me hungry. Hmm. Sounds like you could use something to eat. That's how us mammals and amphibians get our energy. Plants get their food from light. We get our food from plants. What kind of plants do you like to eat? Well, I like lots of plants. Mm. Carrots, beans, mm. peas, lettuce, mm. eggplant, yams. Mm. But my absolute favorite mm. is, this, is broccoli. Really? What is it about broccoli that you like so much? Well, I love broccoli because it reminds me of tiny little trees. Hmm. 
I pretend I'm a giant when I have mm -hmm. broccoli on my plate. Mm -hmm. I eat the entire forest. Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Stop, 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 stop. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. <laughs> Hey, Greg. Yeah, buddy? Um, do cedar trees have roots? I don't see any here. Of course. All trees have roots, you know. The roots of a tree help anchor even the biggest and tallest trees to the ground. Also, the roots of a tree help the tree pull water and minerals up to help the tree grow big and strong. Yeah, so the roots of the cedars are feeders? Yeah, they are. And so what you're saying is that they're cedar feeders that grow for meters and drink up leaders, providing shade for greeters, leaders, and storybook readers? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess you could say that. I don't know why you would say that, but you can say whatever you want to say, Rocco. Yeah, that's what I said.